Martha's Vineyard is a 96 square mile island located off the coast of Massachusetts. World-class beaches, fresh seafood, and a laid-back lifestyle make the vineyard one of the most prominent summer havens in the region. There's also a large year-round community that includes local fishermen with a rich history rooted in offshore commercial fishing. What most people don't know is that around the island is some of the most insane striper fishing on the fly. Well, we just arrived here in Massachusetts. We're currently leaving Cape Cod on a ferry, headed over to Martha's Vineyard. And we're gonna meet up with Erica's parents on their sailboat. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna go striper fishing. And this is something I'm super excited about. I've never actually been striper fishing before. And it's been on my bucket list for quite a long time. And then after our day of striper fishing, we're gonna sail back to Connecticut, where Erica is from, and that's where her family lives. And that's where we're gonna dock the boat. We are now arriving. Our long day of travel has culminated to this. Well, it's 5.42 a.m. Just woke up. First view of the boat and the shore and the harbor in daylight. We got here late last night in the dark. Pretty cool to wake up to this. But we're gonna eat some breakfast here, get fueled up, and go do some fly fishing. Mm, it was really good. I would like to say that I'm very grateful to be here. Aww. Very excited for an awesome day of fly fishing. Just psyched you guys are here. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. After breakfast, we made our way over to a bay where we met up with local fly fishing guide, Natty Schneider. Natty was raised on Martha's Vineyard and is a third generation Islander. His family played an integral role in cultivating his passion for fly fishing. His grandfather, Kib Bramhall, is a legendary island angler and striped bass and bluefish derby hall of famer. Since catching his first striper, Natty developed a passion for fly fishing that many would classify as an obsession. You wanna like, you wanna keep your motion like, when you're starting at least, pretty high up. Like Our day began with giving Sean some casting instruction. Sean has been fishing for stripers before, but in the deep sea with heavy tackle. This was his first time ever saltwater fly fishing, and he's also new to the sport. Sean was very excited to simply get out on the water and just see what it's all about. When we started fishing, the tide was at its lowest. After a little while, the tide started moving back in, 
and it was almost like a light switch, and the fishing started to turn on. One wants it. One wants it. Keep moving. Slow it down. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, look at oh I thought he was going to eat it. Yeah, I so. Wow, look at him. That's super cool. Oh, Couple stripers. Yeah. There we go. There we go, baby. There we go. Oh, got my GoPro. Oh, Sean, can you get my GoPro? Thanks. Classic. Sick. That was a pretty big eat too. Slammed it. I saw the spool over the sand, but the one that ate it was over the. Oh, it's sick. Striper. Let's go. Biting pretty good. Oh my god, yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. On the board. You got him? Nice, look at that. First striper on the fly. There we go, baby. First striper on the fly right there. Nice. Nice. Sean, it's your turn now. Wanna watch me hack away at it. <laughs> Oh, look, it's right under us. Oh, right, right, right there. Oh. What is that? That's not a white. That's a healthy shark. Look at this cool right in front of us at 11 o'clock. Just right off the Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you swiped at it. Oh! oh. Oh yeah, I like this fly. These sparse bait fish cast so well. Yeah. Come on, eat it. Oh, some flashed at it. There's so many fish. Oh my gosh, someone's gonna eat it. I'm just stoked to be on the board. Every fish from here on out, the bonus fish. Oh. Nice. There we go. Uh, right as I said that. Yes. Do your thing. I'm going to move it out of these rocks. Sweet. Oh, let's go. Striper on the fly. Similar size to the other one. A little bigger. A little bigger yeah. You think so? Yeah. Another striper on the fly. Beautiful fish. Hammered it. That's rad. Nice. Oh. Let's go, baby. Oh, that was sick. Yes. Aha. We started motoring off to another fishing spot when off in the distance, Natty spotted some birds flying over the water. As we got closer to the activity, we saw stripers and bluefish blitzing on a big school bait. It was absolute insanity.
Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 snapped it right away. Look at all these fish busting. It's so cool, man. It's so cool. Look at that. I just need to bomb one out there. All right, here we go. They're not being selective at all, that's for sure. There we go. Oh, Bit it, it off. It. Slice and dice. The fog is crazy looking. Come on, eat it. There we go. Yeah, that's a big blue. That's a good blue. I go behind the boat. If you need to go behind the boat. Ah. Nice. Oh, yeah, man. Nice. What happened? Fly gone. We started motoring away and saw a bunch of fish busting. And we went over and casted at them and actually hooked a few and they're bluefish and cut the line straight through, of course. So we didn't have any wire leader, but we tried our best. We put on 50 pound test to see if they wouldn't bite through that. And of course they did, but it was really fun just seeing them busting, getting some casts at them, hooking into some fish. Didn't land any, but we're gonna head back here to some striper fishing and Sean's gonna get it done. It's game time, redemption time. Try. That's yeah, getting windy. Mother Nature's telling us. She's telling us something. Last cast. Way overshot him to the right. No. You want it slow down? Here we go. Right. There, there it is. Go, baby. That's a nice strike. That's a good one. That's sick. That's sick. Good on there. Just trying to clear my line. Got it. Oh yeah. Thing. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, look at that, dude. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Nice striper on the fly. Yeah, much appreciate it. Yeah, that was awesome. Sean, this is your first time ever saltwater fly fishing. No. What are your thoughts on it? It was pretty cool. I mean, it's uh, kind of what I expected and it kind of, you know, did what I expected to do, which is, you know, make some half of an attempt to fly fish. But I, I, I got the line on some fish and had a, one or two hits, but uh, I wasn't able to really cast well enough to do, to do, a, do a good, effective job. It was fun, I had a good time. What would your advice be to other people who have never saltwater fly fish and want to get into it? Practice. Practice, practice, practice. So yeah, the best thing is if you could practice like casting into the wind and against the wind with side winds, uh, it's almost impossible unless you know how to do it. So the best thing to do is tr try it somewhere where you're not gonna hook anybody or kill anyone. So yeah, I, I had a couple near misses today. Would you ever do it again? Oh yeah, definitely. I just gotta practice. Well, we are finished with our first day striper fishing. Personally, I'm very, very stoked. That was 
way cooler of an experience than I ever could have imagined. It's neat being able to sight fish them from the boat, seeing them cruise along the rocks and over the sandy bottom, they really pop. Yeah, it was really exciting. Would definitely go out there and do it again. And our Uber is arriving. Well, we made it back to the boat. We're gonna cook up some shish kebabs here to finish off the day and celebrate with a little bit of Maker's Mark. Big shout out to our guide, Natty, who put us on the fish today. It's a pretty awesome experience being on the boat with him. He grew up here in Martha's Vineyard, and if anyone else wants to come out here and fish, I highly recommend going with him. Go check out Kismet Fly Shop, hit up Natty, and go do some striver fishing. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Natty. You're awesome. Killed it today.